From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Bees are some of Earth's greatest pollinators. For thousands of years, human beings have worked with bees, harvesting their honey and using their pollinating behavior to grow crops. Managing commercial honeybees is still big business today. Each year, U.S. honeybees pollinate an estimated $15 billion worth of 130 crops. That's everything from almonds to avocados and cherries. But between 2002 and 2006, beekeepers noticed that their hives were failing at an unprecedented rate. Between 30 to 90% of some beekeepers' bees died over the course of a year. The normal rate of attrition usually peaks at 20%. This is known as colony collapse disorder, and it is still continuing. In 2008, over 30% of commercial hives failed, and cases of colony collapse disorder have also been reported in Europe. So what's causing this disorder? Scientists aren't sure, but research has revealed several promising leads, from mites to fungus or viruses. Further research will hopefully reach a breakthrough that allows us to prevent the spread of CCD. That's the mainstream story, but some conspiracy theorists think the scientists are playing dumb. According to these theorists, people have known about the cause of CCD for years and conspired to hide this knowledge from the public. Here's where it gets crazy. Since the story of CCD hit the mainstream, conspiracy theorists have been certain there's something more to the story, and that the US government and businesses are hiding the truth behind CCD. We still don't know the complete causation behind CCD, but the possible factors that scientists have identified include stressors such as the Israeli acute paralysis virus, varroa mites, and neonicotinoid pesticides, especially one called clothianidin. This pesticide angle is the main focus for theorists. According to rumors, these new pesticides were killing the bees, and although the US government knew this pesticide was harmful, the EPA still cleared it for domestic use. Beekeepers like Jim Doan of New York scrupulously avoid exposing their bees to pesticides, especially Bayer's product Clothianidin, which they call Poncho. While people have also claimed that cell phone towers could be connected to colony collapse disorder, this theory has been dismissed by the majority of scientists. So when it comes to pesticides, it wouldn't be outrageous to assume this was just another conspiracy theory, except that is, for a few disturbing facts. According to an internal memo published by WikiLeaks, agents at the EPA knew of Poncho's toxic effect on bees, but still allowed Bayer to market the pesticide, granting Poncho a conditional registration despite studies proving that this type of chemical has a clearly toxic effect on non-target insects. Where does this leave us? Scientists are quick to point out that further research is needed to know the full range of stress factors affecting beehives, and how these factors interact with each other. Scientists are also understandably skeptical about the sensationalism that often dictates public opinion of ongoing research. But several European countries have already banned Poncho, and scientists at the USDA have also claimed that these pesticides are killing bees. And to conspiracy theorists, colony collapse disorder isn't a case of honest mistake so much as a case of government and industrial collusion, an attempt to bury something they don't want you to know.